Hello everyone. Now you know when I break out the Earl of Squirrel play mat here at Tragic MTG, it's time for something a little bit wacky. The kind of stuff that most people don't even care about. It's these crazy 80s and 90s non-sport cards. Yes, we're doing these again. Here's some goofy ones to look at. New Kids on the Block? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Here we got uh, eight super gloss photo cards of New Kids on the Block and one sticker. Thankfully no gum in these. This is a Topps Company, 1989. This is what I'm all about when I'm not about other stuff. It's just how it goes. Look, there's Joe. What is Joe's deal? So I don't remember all of the New Kids on the Block. And as with these uh, these uh, non-sport cards, often from Topps, there's like puzzles on the back. So you put, the, put together the puzzle of the NKOTB and uh, frame it and put it on your wall. Uh, so that was Joe. Is this... Don't know. I forget the dude's name. Is this guy even in that band? Because I don't recall what they look like. I think, isn't Donnie Wahlberg in this band? Smart guys. How do new kids on the block handle their incredible fame? We don't let it go to our heads, says Clever Jonathan. And Donnie, Danny, Jordan, and Joe, they all agree. I, who couldn't agree with that? Uh, yep, there you go. There's uh, some kind of modeling photo of Jordan. He's quite the comedian. I'm sure he is. There they are. Uh, yep, there's a Wahlberg in that picture. I can tell. This was a different time back then, I'm telling you guys. I was... Uh, somewhat aware of these guys they were not my favorite kind of music of the day I think about 1989 I was into I would say in excess and sir mix a lot I think these guys were not my jam Jonathan Knight was born in 1970 November 29th he's a Sagittarius of course he is Danny Wood so these are collectors items they're worth 100 billion dollars I'm going to send them in to get them graded at uh, BGS or whatever. And uh, I'll be retiring soon. Here's a Kazam from Don Russ. Eight cards of Shaquille O'Neal in this movie. I never saw the movie. Um, I think this is one of those things where you remember it. I thought it was supposed to be Shazam. Or people have talked about that. But it's actually Kazam. And... <laughs> There it is, sure enough. He had that hat, whatever you call that. And I don't know what he was saying there. He's telling the tale. Max tries to escape from Kazam, who bursts into an Arabic flavored groove, rapping to the Baghdad beat. Kazam explains that he's a genie, not thrilled about being disturbed from his boombox, but ready to grant three wishes. This was all the way in 1996, where people still talked like that. They rapping to the Baghdad beat and stuff like that. So those kind of things were still acceptable at that time, apparently. They're definitely not now. There he is. Uh, is he like on top of a street light? Is there a chair attached to the street light? I'm confused by what's going on. Is this like an extra thick card? No, there's two cards here. Another act. There's some stuff that happened in the movie. Who was that loser? Okay. Is this like what Kazam says? Inshallah bismillah nir al di. Static clean card directions. Clean surface where decals to be applied. You can peel the backing. So you actually put this somewhere. Rub the decal to remove any bubbles. This is like a clear decal. Sure enough, yeah. So I might go ahead and put this on like one of my coworkers' car window or something. They're gonna love that. Keel. Oh, more puzzles. Was that like a, oh, a boombox? Probably. I thought it was a washing machine at first. Uh, let's see. What is going on here? Wise Kraken Rappin'. Um, yep, I'm sure that's what's happening. Make you three wishes and I'm out of your face. So I'm back in my box and out of this place. Very 90s rap. Really like late 80s rap honestly what happened to this kid's hair 
I'm sure, sure some kind of shenanigans. Max tries to behave normally, but his recent brush with genie power is obvious. When asked a question by his teacher, Max can only sputter out an incorrect response. He gets detention. Man, harsh. I feel bad for Max. Where's Kazam when you need him? Instead of going to detention. They're like having like a fight um, in some kind of basement. Kazam unleashed, emerging from a tornado of trash. Man. So I gotta say at least, well, no. As usual with movie cards, it's just a picture of a scene from the movie. Max and I guess his mom probably just talking. Yep. Oh yeah, that's all of what happens in that scene in that movie. Sure, exciting. All right, next up, more movie cards. Howard the Duck. Um, widely regarded as a terrible movie. I did see it, I think on TV, probably around 1989. And here it is. So this one has gum. I can feel it. I've eaten gum out of these packs before to ill effect. So I will not do that now, of course. Uh, there's a sticker. Cherry Bomb's best lady. So, oh, what's her name? I already forget. Beverly Switzler is the name of the character. And I'll have to look her up. I think she was on The Boys. Yeah, what's that actress's name? She's still around. This guy's still around. Wow. Is that Tim Robbins? Unbelievable. Phil Blumbert. Sure enough, I didn't realize he was in that movie. It's been a long time since I've seen it. It was really bad. Cleveland Triumphant. The dust has settled. Humanity's triumphed. He's an illegal alien. Oh, no. Howard on Duck World. Jeez. So the comic book from the 70s was like a wacky kind of like counterculture thing. And I think George Lucas produced this movie thinking it was going to be a big hit. It was just it was just really like all over the place silliness. Oh, more puzzles. There we go. Bug off Blumbert. Okay. It's all coming back to me. Yeah, he wore shades. I want my HTV. Wow, play on MTV of the time. It's really bad. No more Mr. Nice Duck. He swings. And an action scene where Beverly punches like a trash can or something and then has a gun. And rescues Howard from the cops. When she slips a revolver away from one of them and demands that he be freed. Nice work, doll. I owe you one. Yeah, I mean, that's the, several felonies to do that. But at least you saved the duck. All right, next one, Tiny Toons Adventures. Uh, 25 cents is all this would have been back in the day. 1991 Tops. I did watch Tiny Toons on television, after school television. There's uh, Buster Bunny, right? Is this a sticker? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Maybe it is. Montana Max expelled. See, this is terrible. Like, this is just one of the least interesting things that you would want to look at from one of these cartoons a dizzy delight who even is that dizzy devil so it's like the baby Tasmanian devil I don't remember that Hampton meets his match that looks like art from Ren and Stimpy kinda interesting go go dodo wacky lands transfer student sure tomato salesman plucky plucky duck sure and then, yes, Elmira. I do remember Elmira. She was pretty obnoxious. There it is. Tiny Tunes. All right, one more. That's all you have to put up with at this point. Trash Can Trolls. The first collector series. So, obviously, a spoof of Garbage Pail Kids from Top. So, how do you spoof... What's already a spoof, right? Garbage Hill Kids is spoofing Cabbage Patch Kids. Trash Can Trolls is spoofing Garbage Pail Kids. It's basically the same stuff. Chip Entrails. 30B. Even the same, like, numbering scheme. 
And I think, didn't Tops do Garbage Pail Kids? So they were trying to just double down and catch lightning in the bottle twice. Coupon for, uh, see this much later, it's 1992. So maybe just a reimagining and they had a different property of the trolls here. David lynched. That's actually very inappropriate these days. You can't even say that word. Save, save, save. Cup of troll. Trash can trolls. Barfin Barb. He's got troll toupees. Jordan Buchanis. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Save, save seven cents on it. A Lance Scape. And more puzzles. Really collect the whole set. Prickly Pete. More puzzles and Cyclone. All right, there it is. We did it. We looked through all of these to um, have fun. Sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, all two of you. I appreciate it, and catch you later.